Welcome to What's Growing at CMC, our new weekly segment. I'm Talasha. And I'm Daniel. And we are married, so it is okay that we are not six feet apart. We are all missing the connections that happen in the hallways at church, the little conversations that help us know what God is doing here at CMC. Our movement may be restricted right now, but the Holy Spirit does not let a little virus get in the way. Seeds that God has planted, that we've been tending for a long time, are continuing to grow. And seeds that we didn't know had been planted are bearing fruit. Here are some of the things that we have spotted growing. The COVID-19 fund has taken off. You all have been so generous. And we now have $32,380 in the account as of this moment. This is money that is going directly to help people in our community survive this pandemic. We have been able to help multiple households get internet and computers, and we've even had computer donations. We've been able to help several families pay rent and other expenses. The food pantry is alive and well, with many people volunteering in COVID-safe ways. 20 households have received food in the past week alone, and three have received diapers and baby wipes this week. This ministry has served a total of 70 families since it started over a month ago, and all of those connections have been made through continued relationships with CMCers. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for reaching out to your neighbors. And speaking of neighbors, Pamela and her family have found a creative way to encourage others. Those who drive or bike or walk or scoot by their house will notice notes and pictures drawn in chalk on the sidewalk. We are also hearing heartwarming stories about people who previously didn't even know each other getting connected through extending peace and welcome at the end of worship services. Mm -hmm. Relationships continue to grow and get planted even without face-to-face -face interactions. Some of us are turning to the CMC food book and making recipes from our church family to help us feel connected with each other. We are seeing fantastic pictures of the building projects that are happening with Legos and blocks and other supplies during the season of worship. Sunday school teachers are sending cards and calling children that they would normally see each week in Sunday school. Whole families are tuning in on Facebook Live every week for children's Sunday school prompts. I am being introduced to some really cool and creative and inventive games by the youth online. Adult Sunday school classes are meeting virtually. Many Spanish speaking families are meeting via WhatsApp. Two virtual connection groups, one that is bilingual and the other one in English have started meeting. And you can easily be part of one too by filling out an online form or calling into the church office so they can help you fill it out there. We currently have two households who are waiting to be part of group three, so don't leave them hanging. You all are showing up for each other in so many ways, so thank you. The Memorial Garden has had some little helper elves lately. Thank you to the Gillette family and to Josiah Yoder and some other mystery helpers who will remain unnamed for the work that they have been doing. There are still leaves to be raked and gathered, so stop by, grab some supplies, or bring some with you. There are supplies in the northwest corner of the garden. And northeast. Corner. Northeast? Northeast. Northeast. Okay, look in the north. You'll find them. Have fun getting to work in the garden. Or if you want to connect on a rainy day, you could try tuning in to Daniel's podcast, COVID Sabbath. That includes interviewer interviews with CMCers who have some wisdom to offer us in a time like this. Or you can read Pastor Phil's thoughts on his blog, Pastor's Puddle. You can find the links to the podcast and to the blog on the church website or on the weekly CMC emails. Leading worship services is a very different experience without all of you here. And we are all learning a lot from camera angles to cue sheets and teleprompters. So. Stay tuned for some behind the scenes photos at the end of these announcements. There are some seedlings starting to sprout 
so keep listening to announcements about virtual celebrations and some all-age faith formation that we're getting pretty excited about. In the meantime, keep encouraging each other. Send us the stories and pictures of the ways that God is showing up, the ways that you are building community in the midst of pandemic, and we'll share them here. Take videos of your household offering a greeting or a blessing to your entire church family, and we will share those through email. You can send them to Marie, M-A-R-I-E, at collegemennonite.org. There is something growing here at College Mennonite Church. We are truly grateful to be walking this path in the company of all of you. God was, God is, and God will be. Thanks be to God. Reaping and sowing, planting and hoeing, there's something showing, popping up through the sod. The Spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God. Reaping and sowing, planting and hoeing, there's something showing, popping up through the sod. Spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God. and sowing, planting and hoeing, there's something showing, popping up through the sod. The Spirit's blowing, new life we're knowing, giving and growing in the garden of God.